again and welcome. In today's video I shall be talking about the dying art of using uh, toolmakers buttons for the accurate positioning of uh, holes on plates and blocks and things. Now when I say the uh, the dying art of using them of course is, is the um, digital readout has, has replaced them so these these were used back in the back in the days long before um, Marconi or whatever it was who was had a twinkle in his eye for in, inventing the, the DRO. Um, a lot of shops would have um, uh, good tool making shops would, would have had a jig bar of course you know so that could be done on that but but if, if either of the, sh the shop didn't have a jig bar or um, it was busy or the part was too big to get on it um, you could use these um, buttons for actually setting up a where you wanted the holes on on your plate and uh, doing it on a manual mill now all you would need to to use these you, you'd need a set of um, joe blocks or, or slip gauges as they're known today and a set of these um, buttons so I think what we'll do now is uh, we'll go outside to the uh, to the workshop and I'll actually show you what they look like and give you a uh, practical demonstration of, uh, of of how they're used. Uh, join me outside soon. Bye. Now what you're seeing here is my surface plate and a uh, box of Imperial um, Joe blocks or, or um, slip gauges they tend to be called these days. Now it is a complete set, the, the, the odd spaces is because I've already got the slips out to do the demonstration. Now this is what I'm referring to when I speak of a toolmaker's buttons. It's a set of uh, four uh, and they, uh, with, with the uh, appropriate screws and they're usually kept together as a, as a, as a, as a set so that they don't get, so they don't get lost. Um, I'll remove the screw. Now they, they use standard um, cap screws. I'm sorry I forget what thread it is. The, the brain cell that that was stored in has long been overwritten by something much more important but uh, obviously you need, to, you need to know that. Now the, now the blocks themselves, the um, buttons themselves are a hardened and ground um, cylinder that's got a much larger hole in the end than what the screw is. So obviously you, you know, so, so, you, so you've got some wiggle room. Um, the underneath is also um, lapped perpendicular to the uh, to the uh, side. Um, right. Let me uh, get this set up then. Right. So for this uh, practical demonstration, I should only be using timber. I'm not going to waste my uh, value material, especially since I don't know how many people are going to be uh, going to be watching it. But I mean, say for argument's sake, say that this, this this is your this is your part, um, and and what you need what you need is 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 uh, two holes accurately positioned, at, and also at an angle. Um, now, what you have to bear in mind is is that whatever dimensions you want. Um, uh, when you come to actually set it up with the slip gauges, you've got you've got to, you've got to allow for half the diameter of these. These, these are half inch diameter. Anyway, so it's, it's an illustration where we want. So, so I want to, I want to, I want a hole inch and a quarter in from the end, one inch up, and at 56 degrees, I need another hole drilling up here at two and a half inch centres. So, by the uh, so and, 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 and what you could actually need to do with these, of course, is is that. Um, you, because you, because you've got wiggle room with, with this with the screw and the and 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 the part. Um, I mean, you, I mean, you can get you can get, mark this out and, and and drill it as 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 accurate as you can. I mean, I mean, if you, if you can get it within better than a thirty second, it, it, it's fine or, or, or one millimeter. Um, so through the magic, so once you mark it out uh, like that, through the magic of television. There we are. There's, there's that. This is you, you. You then drill and tap your uh, appropriate holes, and then we shall then go about now of uh, showing you how to set it up. Right now, bearing in mind what I said before, um, inch and a, we, we have to, the finish hole needs to be inch and a quarter in from the end and one inch up. But but because these um, toolmakers buttons are five hundred thou in 
in uh, in diameter, um, you've got to you've got to take 250 thou off of off, off of each off of each measurement. So therefore, now we when we come to um, down here, is that we now need to put a one inch. Oh, by by the way, the, the, I know this is timber and these are only good screws, but obviously you use the proper one. You see see we've got you see that we got got a lot of got a lot of wiggle room. So the idea is is with is is you is you drop your uh, in, in in this case one inch slip gauge in there that will then give us the inch and a quarter from there to there and then we then slip a 750 in on the bottom which which land with the extra quarter so what you need to do now is is to when when it's all nicely pushed up is is to hold that into 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 there and actually then tighten your screw down I think that that's 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 moved I mean that's that that's the trouble trying to uh, you really, really need more than one hand, but anyway, let's try that again, just to just to make sure. All right, that's that. Make sure that when you tighten that up, that that is that is firmly pushed into the into the corner. So now we know that uh, that is that is accurately set. What we need to do now for um, doing the angles is we need to remove those out of the way, and you get your um, bevel protractor set at the uh, appropriate distance and what we need to do now is is to uh, not only slide this over until they line up in that down there but also and then put your two inch um, because so because because we want two and a half but of course you do, you've got you've got a double radius this time so you've actually got to, got to take half an inch off so what you do is then is, is with the held down like that and this and that, sorry, fingers in the way, tighten down there. And obviously you can, you know, check it over, make 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 sure she's absolutely right. So the next procedure then is to uh, say, well, okay, I've now set that up. You, you take it over to your um, manual uh, mini machine, and you clamp it to the table, put it in the vice, whatever. And then, of course, with the aid of your your uh, the centering clock, you can actually, you know, centre the centre the center the part up when you're happy with that remove the screw and the tool maker's button and you're ready to proceed but first off uh, as you can appreciate the, 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 the don't just start drilling away because because the, the hole that's, that you that, that you taps made for the screw is not in the correct position so plunge down with a um, uh, a slot drill or, or, or a two fleet m a two flu m mill and until you get a full complete diameter otherwise uh, you know you you you're wasting your time for um uh, trying to line everything up and then and then of course when you're when you're finished with that one of course you get you then you then position your spindle over um clock in your second hole and and do the same procedure with that now of course these tool made Maker buttons aren't, aren't only um, for use on the miller machine. I mean, if you've if you've got if you've got a if you've got a part that that you could fit in your um, four jaw chuck or on a face plate on a lathe, I'll tell you can do it with that. So I mean, say say in this instance, you know, you you you, you wanna you know you wanna you wanna hold um, you know a certain distance in from both edges. Well, same same thing applies. Uh, Sorry about that. I need it. I needed the button that was still uh, attached to the other part. So this time you can you can you can you can set your block up. So what you need is a, is a that you you only need one block this time for the end because the other one we will be using the surface plate as a reference. So we can turn it over like that. You put your slip gauge in like that. Pop the other one under. The, as I say, of course, don't forget. See, we've got we've got this, we've got this lovely wiggle room on it. Um, can set that up there like that and again by holding it down and, I've got, and I'm doing this left-handed this time and tighten this up and obviously you can you can make sure it's, it's checked so there we are so of course you now take this over to the to the lathe put it in your four jaw or your or your uh, face plate um, dial it in as usual um, Remove this and away you go. But I say, bearing in mind again that I say that the 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 whole um, will 
be, be have a lot of run out because 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 it's it was only an approximation. So so really oh sorry I was out the bloody screen there. Um, yeah so as I say obviously you get run out with it. Um, so again. Um, you sh shouldn't really hold uh, end mills in a, in a in a drill chuck, but uh, you know if you just just you, you you need you need to get it to run through. Um, now of course with this block, I mean if you needed more than one hole in, obviously will you come back and you and and, and you do the same uh, operation all over again and, and place it in a different place? I'd highly recommend not not putting more than one of these on at a time, especially on a lay with it with it um, spinning around because you know this you know not only could you catch this but of course it may, it may move and of course and you've, and you've defeated the object of trying to have accurate setting up but uh, yeah so just bring it back and, and you know if you're always working from this corner or, or, or another corner of course it doesn't matter I mean you, you just set it up it's so much easier than trying to um, you know you, you, you see people with a you know they've, they've They've drawn something as you know, perhaps with a height gauge or what it was, and they've centre punched it, and you see them trying to fiddle about, trying to um, to get it to run through. You know, it's most difficult trying to clock up a um, a centre punch mark. So uh, you know, if no nice little tip for if you need it. So there we are. Then that's another uh, little uh, demonstration for you. I hope you've. Uh, Found that of interest. Now, before you suddenly think, oh, oh, I think I'll have to get myself a set of those. Um, be warned. I've just had a, a quick check on on eBay, and there's only four sets available, and they are from the USA. So, um, reasonably priced. But of course, the the, the postage is is uh, is much more than the uh, than the cost of the uh, of the item itself. So, um, just just be prepared if you think, oh, I'm going to get myself some of those. Anyway. Um, Thanks once again for watching, uh, please subscribe, ring the bell, click the likes and send me a comment and until we meet again on another video, um, wherever you are in the world, please stay safe, well and happy and catch you next time, bye. That's all folks.